Hey, welcome back to what I think is now video four on my attempts to diagnose an intermittent no-star condition on this 2004 Yamaha 94 stroke, an engine that's been otherwise flawless, nearly flawless, over almost 400 hours, um, and uh, has proven to be a little elusive in terms of dealing with this particular problem. Um, I could put the boat in the water at the beginning of the season, have a great couple of days of use, then the next morning go down and it just won't start dead. No clicking, no nothing. Then I would go back and two days later it would be great and then it would not be great. This little component here, the starter relay, has been something a couple of you have suggested might be the problem. So I am trying this. Now this is an aftermarket uh, unit because it's far cheaper than an actual OEM unit. In fact, my local Yamaha dealer suggested I try the cheap one first to see if it is indeed the problem. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to uh, where I got it, but it was like, let's call it 60 bucks versus 150 kind of thing. So let's try this. So let's get under the hood here and figure out where this goes. There's actually three units that look quite similar stacked on top of each other that look like the one we want to replace. But if you take a closer look, you can see that the bottom two are different. They have three nuts and uh, wires connecting to them, whereas the top one has just the two and the top module also has the um, uh, smaller wires you can see here that uh, connect to the wiring harness. So a uh, process of elimination, it's the uh, likely the top unit that needs to be replaced. And uh, we will do that by swapping in uh, this guy here. You can even see that the, uh, the connectors look the same. The, uh, the male connector on the red wire, and then the, uh, the ring terminal on, uh, on the black. Okay, so getting into this, we've got the first two nuts off, they're 10 mil, and uh, on the left side we got one terminal, a little wobbly there, coming off, um, or one wire. On the right side, it looks like there's two or maybe even three uh, ring connectors there that need to come off on the right side. And uh, just a little warning, do not short those two terminals with, uh, with any tools if you haven't disconnected your battery. Yeah, there's uh, three wires on the right terminal there that need to come off. Um, that last one's a little stiff. But those two on the left, the red and the black, came off that right side as well. Okay, well once you get those uh, wires off the terminals, then you just pull that uh, rubber holder right out of its mount. You can see it on the side there, those two broad metal tabs. It just pushes on to that. There's nothing fastening it there. It's just sort of the friction of the rubber, which is presumably to isolate it from vibration. So once you pull it off of there, there's uh, the red wire, which will disconnect from the wiring harness there out of that little pigtail. And then there'll be the black wire, which comes off of a uh, terminal on the module just down. And then the relay is off. And you can pull it out and switch it. Yeah, and here you can see it's sitting uh, off the engine. There's the new one to be swapped into the original holder. All right, so when you get the relay out of its uh, little squishy rubber holder and put it down next to the uh, aftermarket one, you can see dimensionally they're very similar. One on the uh, left, the original, is heavier and more heavily built than the one on the right. Uh, there's some differences in the way the wires are connected um, and the, uh, the fasteners, but... Uh, we're going to uh, give the one on the right a uh, try and see if it will, A, solve the problem, and B, if it does, if it'll last the nearly, uh, you know, 400 hours that the first one did. 
All right, so there's the new uh, relay in the old uh, mount. So obviously very similar dimensions if it fits, and we'll put it in. Just a little uh, side observation here that's interesting to note. The hardware is different between these two. You can see the OEM has split washers and nuts, and the, uh, the new one has no split washers, just uh, flared nuts with a knurled edge, which is designed, I guess, to, uh, to grip and keep from backing off. Um, I prefer the original style. I know a split washer, when tightened down, isn't going to back off under most circumstances, so we'll use those. Okay, so we just push that uh, rubber housing onto the metal tabs and uh, make sure it's fully seated. Um, another small difference is the, uh, the red and white, black wire here on the, um, the OEM are, uh, are shrunk on, whereas these have these sort of floppy um, boots. Okay, so next discovery. This connector is too small to fit properly into the wiring harness. Um, now that, uh, that connector inside the tube there looks like it can be crunched down a little bit to create an interference fit, but there's no doubt that it's technically not the right size connector. I don't think um, for the black wire the ring terminal will be a problem, but that one's going to need to be adjusted. So. Um, between that and the fact that the uh, the wires are not shrunk fit on the on the unit means a little bit of uh, modification. Hopefully, not uh, not going to be an issue. All right, everything's in place. Those ten mil nuts are tightened. The uh, the connector there does in fact fit now that we. Uh, crimped down the uh, female side and uh, black wire that ring terminal has been uh, connected so uh, all we got to do left uh, all we have left to do now is uh, slide the boots down over those uh, nuts to protect them from shorts all right water's hooked up let's crank it and see what happens This engine is that it almost always starts uh, on the first try. It's the second, the fifth, the ninth, the twelfth, the fifteenth, etc. that's been a problem. So will it start multiple times in a row is the question. So by now, that engine has started probably 20 to 30 times in a row without any hesitation at all. So I am going to boldly predict that replacing the starter relay was what I needed to do all along. Thanks for the suggestion. I hope this might help anyone else who watches it. Safe boating.